<laughs> Welcome to the Wicker Bar. I'm the host of this video, Lord Zippy Blank, the Duke of the goddamn mother flip flapping motherfucking Del Ridge bitches. I'm broadcasting live on the shores of the Longfellow Creek, in beautiful West Seattle. It's Friday. I'm here to make you a cocktail. Are you excited? Are you following me on Instagram now? Yeah, I know I'm moving up, getting it all figured out. I mean, how else am I going to be a social influencer and, you know, guiding all of you people with my, um, with my mind powers? Vexer's not really sure what's going on. He's scared. Maybe I'll, one day I'll get a little pillow up here. I'll let Vexer sit up on the bar. Um, well, yeah, thank you. We're here making cocktails. It is, did I already say it's Friday? It's Friday. It's a special day here around our house. Um, today was Braille's last day at her job. 14 years she had this job 14 years now she's up she's moving on to something else but she's going to start on a monday and she's very very excited although mixed with that excitement as a lot of you know um, a, lot, a lot of other emotions that one would have um after um leaving a job that you've been at for um 14 years um i'm making a special little dinner well, i made a little special little dinner last night another 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 dinner tonight um Probably maybe not quite as special as last night. Last night was a good dinner. Um, I gave Rayo a choice of two cocktails. One of them was a tequila drink called the Encantado, or Charmed. And the other one is called the English Rose, which is a gin drink. And we're going to do the uh, English Rose this evening, and we're going to save the Encantado um, tomorrow. We're going to have a guest um, over for uh, dinner tomorrow, and um, this person enjoys a little tequila. So we're going to do that. And it's kind of, it's almost, you know, I don't know. I guess it, just because a drink has tequila doesn't make it a margarita. So let's just let's um, let's figure that out right now. Um, Encantado. I mean uh, English Rose. We have some of our uh, bookers, uh, Dry London Gin. We have some of our uh, Dry Vermouth. We have our Quavathier. We have our uh, Marie Brizard uh, Parfait Amour. Um, we have a little bit of lemon juice. We have some grenadine, which I just made day before yesterday, I guess. I didn't make it too, too, I didn't make it too, too thick, um, so I didn't make it too, too syrupy, um, but it should still be um, absolutely de delicious. Um, should we just get going on this cocktail? I mean, how, how's the new lighting look? I'm kind of, I'm trying to kind of step up. I'm just kind of stepping up my game here, you know. I mean, once I get that 300 subscribers, it's like, it's gravy from there. I can just like kick back and, you know, live off of my residuals. You know, live off my, lo my laurels. Yeah, boy, I remember that. Remember that 16 months. Okay, well, here we go. Um, Gin. Four ounces of gin. Actually, it's three and a half. For whatever reason, this one. That's how it timed out. Three and a half ounces of gin. One and a half ounces of our dry vermouth. All right, I'm looking through the other side. Other than that, um, you know, nothing really, really exciting happened today in, in my world. How about your world? Anybody out there? Anybody out there have anything fun or exciting to share? Dexter's. Okay. Well, sure. Um, one ounce of our parfait amour. English Rose, I, I'm, you know, I'm trying to, you know, as you, as you can tell, I'm trying to, you know, upgrade my wardrobe a little bit, so I have a special wardrobe for tomorrow. Yeah, that dog is just pathetic. Um, oh, the Quavathier, I was wrong, that's for tomorrow. Ooh, that would have been different. Um, one half of uh, lemon juice. And about a quarter ounce of our grenadine here. I used a different sort of pomegranate juice. The uh, the palm wonderful is a little bit a little bit redder. This one that I used here was a little bit darker. On that purple, on that purple coloring there. Oh, zip it, zip it, zip it. Okay, here we go. Glad I didn't throw that cobatier in there. 
Never gonna give, never gonna give, never gonna give you up. Never gonna do, 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 na, 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 na. The season finale of season two of Ted Lasso. Rick Astley. I know I heard that song and I see him singing. It's like, oh my god, I know that's Rick Astley. That doesn't seem. I'm a product of my environment. Here we go. The English, the English rose. I don't know. Is there, is there an English rose that's this color? Uh, it's the Parthe Amor. Oh, there we go. Uh, Rail. Join me. That's nice. Definitely, definitely boozy with that gin. That London Dry gin really kicks, uh, cuts through. Um, well, I want to thank you all very much for joining me here. This dog is so good. This dog, if you'd, if you'd see this dog, you'd think we'd, we'd beaten him, you know, the whole time that he's lived here. Maybe I, I think maybe I whacked him on the butt once when he like peed in the bed or something but dog is just like ridiculous just ridiculous um well i don't have any um oh oh no you know what to do just take a minute i know you know before you you know you're watching this video you know you know, it doesn't seem like much to do to, you know, subscribe and hit that notification button. But, you know, it really, really means a lot to me for you to do that for me. It really does mean a lot. Almost as much as um, sending me a card for Christmas. Just thinking of me without my Christmas list this year. It's real, and I do embrace the tradition of sending out Christmas cards every year. Oh, yeah, we do. We do. Uh, we do. All right. I'm out of here. I'm going to go upstairs, get this dinner going. Um, Thank you all very much um, for joining us. Um, we have no uh, studio audience um, today. <coughs> we will tomorrow. Um, I think we have uh, well, we have the one special guest that's going to be joining us at the uh, chef's table for dinner. Um, we're doing some uh, uh, bone-in pork chops. Um, because I did ask our guests what it was that they would enjoy. Between the chicken, fish, or uh, chicken, fish, pork, or beef, and they picked um, pork. Um, and I hopefully they enjoy, you know, the way that I <laughs> prepare this, prepare the pork. The chops have been brining um, according to the brine recipe from the uh, Zuni uh, cookbook, which is uh, one of our favorite cookbooks. And I pulled that out, just kind of wanted to double check, you know. My, my ratios on that salt to sugar. Actually, the Zuni brine a little bit heavier on the sugar than this than the salt. Um, interesting. I did throw some uh, little crumbled bay leaves and some uh, chili chilies in there as well. All right. Um. Well, enough of that. Food, food, drink, drinking food, rock and roll, marijuana, buying records, fast cars, um, rich women. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go upstairs. Thank you all very much, and uh, you know, join us again tomorrow. The Wicked Bar.